In a push to get him nominated to the National Racing Hall of Fame, tomorrow Turf Report will honor local Ironman jockey Perry Oots. And here to explain how is uh, Mike Battaglia. Mike, thank you so much for coming in. Mike's a long time uh, uh, employee there at uh, Turf Report, been around racing all his whole life. Yeah. And, uh, 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 Perry Oots, uh, tell us what makes Perry special. <laughs> you know, he's the, this guy's nuts. <laughs> Let's put it that way. He's yeah. 62 years old and he's still going out there every night all kind of weather put they, you know they put their life on the line every time they they get get on top of a horse yes. this is not this it's not the easiest thing to do it's one of the most dangerous professions there is he's doing it he's been doing it for 40 years he won over 6,000 races yeah. and uh, he's been hurt so many times uh, the, the, the worst bill was at turfway mm -hmm. back in 2006 he was off a year but he just fell again on New Year's Eve when I was out there. Uh, it came off, went off his horse. So, but, but you know something, uh, Mike, it has to be more than just a toughness. You need good mounts, uh, you need good well, health and good luck. But you also, uh, there has to be something about him as a jockey that kind of distinguished him to get nearly 7,000 wins. Well, he's tenacious. Yeah. I mean, he is tenacious. And he's got that many wins riding not the best stock, let me tell you. Yes. You know, he's been riding, he, he's leading rider at uh, River Downs, which is now Belterra, up at Beulah Park, at Turfway for a couple of meets. And honestly, you just don't get the best stock there. You're running mostly claiming races yeah. and horses that aren't as, say, sound as some of the other ones that yeah. are running in stakes races, running for small purses. You have to really want it. You have to love the game. Yeah. He does that. And uh, there's just something innate about some of these jockeys, how they can get a horse to run for him, and he does that. Now, he gets a horse to get their best. Now, he's just a few years younger than you and me, and he's still he, out there getting it done. He make, is. Uh, make the case for why he deserves in the, uh, to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, I'm, a, I'm actually on the voting committee for the Hall okay. of Fame, and if his, if his name comes up, I will vote for him. But his name, is it's going to be tough to get him on the ballot. David Gall has uh, uh, got over 7,000 wins. He's, uh, he's, he's fifth on the list. He's never been voted into. He was one of these wrote in the small tracks like yeah. Perry. Mario Pino, is, uh, he and Perry are right together right now. They're both still riding. He's got uh, over right 50 more wins than Perry. He's got to get in first, I think. So it's going to be a tough row. Yeah, but Turfway's going to make a case Turfway's for Turfway's going to help. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell us what's <laughs> happening on Perry Wood's day. Well, I, I don't really know what, what all they've got, but uh, you know, we're just going to go down and honor him. And uh, there's a big push to get him onto the ballot for the Hall of Fame. And we're, there's going to be a petition. We'd like to get people to sign the petition. We're going to send that to the uh, people at the Hall of Fame. Try to get his name on the ballot. Uh, uh, very quick, we only have a few seconds left. Uh, you've been around Turfway all of your life, uh, even yeah. back when it was Latonia. All right. Uh, and uh, you've been around Churchill Downs forever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, how does he compare to jockeys you've seen? Well, I was hoping you wouldn't ask me that. That's a tough, <laughs> that's a tough question. Yeah. He's a big fish in a small pond. Yeah. Would he have won as many races riding at Keeneland, Turfway, and the uh, east and west? No, he wouldn't have. But he, he still fits. He goes to Keeneland, he goes to Churchill, and he can still win races. All right, uh, Mike, uh, thank you so much for coming in. Mike. Thank you, John.